Welcome back to the channel guys, it is me, 8744. So today guys, I'm going to do my CONCACAF Nations League roster reaction. So I just saw the roster right now, I did see it earlier on Twitter, but I didn't really like, you know, I just looked at it briefly, so I didn't really like precisely look into it. And so we have some very interesting inclusions. Now there are some injured players we have to take in consideration. I believe Ty Adams just got injured before the roster announcement, so he wasn't going to be available. So let's go look at the goalkeeper. So goalkeepers, we have Ethan Horvat, Zach Steven, Matt Turner. So Matt Turner, I mean, Zach Steven's finally given another chance to prove himself to be the number one. Although I, I think many of us already know that Matt Turner is the number one. So it's nice to see uh, Zach Steven is back. So hopefully, uh, maybe uh, Berhalter or Anthony Hudson, I guess. Well, I don't know even know who's going to be the coach for this cycle. But I think it's going to be, I, th I think Berhalter will be back. I think Berhalter will be back. But, um... Anyways, whoever the coach is, um, I think they're going to... They may give Zach Steffen the game against um, Grenada at home, I believe. Uh, sorry, away, I think. Um, defenders, we have Serginho Dest. Okay, makes sense. Mark McKenzie. Okay. Tim Ream, Brian Reynolds, Anthony Robinson, Miles Robinson, Joe Scali, Uster Trusty. So we have moved on from Zimmerman. We are done with Zimmerman, which is good to see because he was terrible for us in the World Cup. We have also moved on from Aaron Long, which is a nice thing to see. And so it's good to see that we're having um, Uster Trusty, you know. Joe Scally and Miles Robinson. It's good to see Miles Robinson back because I think for me he's a very, very underrated USA player. And I also like really like Brian Reynolds. And then the midfielders. Midfielders we have here are Brennan Aronson, Johnny Cardoso. Johnny Cardoso is back. I believe he wasn't selected for the World Cup because of injury. Luca de la Torre, Weston McKenney, Eunice Musa, Allen, Sonari. Now I think for the midfield, it's gonna be interesting to see who's gonna be our backup number six. Because we really haven't had a backup number six. Generally, it used to be uh who's it called? Kellen Acosta. However, as you guys can see, Kellen Acosta hasn't been called up. So, who's going to be that backup number six? Personally, for me, I want to see Eunice Musa be the backup. I think he has what it takes to be a CDM. And we can see a midfield of Musa, McKenney, and Aronson. I think it'll be a great midfield. Maybe you could even do uh, Luca De La Torre, potentially Johnny Cardoso. And so, I'm really interested to see who's going to be the backup CDM. And then finally, we move on to the forwards. The forwards is very interesting. You got Taylor Booth. Daryl DK, Ricardo Pepe, Christian Pulisic, Gio Reyna, Tim Weah, and Alex Zendaya. So, Alex Zendaya has just recently capitalized the USA. Um, good to see there. And then for the forwards, I'm going to say, I'm really curious to see who's going to be our striker. Because obviously there's no Sargent, there's no Haji Wright, um, there's no Sabachu as well. Pepe is back, so maybe Pepe can be that striker for us. Maybe even DK as well. I don't know about Taylor Booth. Um, and yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Or maybe we could try Timothy Way at striker. Uh, potentially so like i said very very interesting uh inclusions there i believe 13 of the usa players in the roster did play the world cup i believe they were a part of the world cup squad so it's nice to see there and we have some new fresh faces there so hopefully things go well in this nation's league um break uh nation's league game so like i said if you're not here considering that subscribe button like this video enjoy comment below your thoughts comment section below and i'll see you guys later peace out